And now we will learn how to use rules to help us with our QuickBooks online bank feeds. Bank Feed Center can input the account and the person involved in the transaction automatically and that will save you time if you set it up by using rules. If you set up rules, you can save time and have QuickBooks Bank Feed Center input the vendor or the customer that's involved in that transaction automatically. In fact, the rules will even allow the Bank Feed Center to input the income, expense, or transfer account that's involved in that transaction automatically so that it'll save you time as you go through the review list. The rules can be based on either the text in the bank text memo field or the description field. Now let me show you what the difference is. Here we are back at the bank feed center and this column says description. QuickBooks takes a tiny piece of the bank memo and puts that as the description. But if you click on the transaction it opens up with all the information about the transaction and this long string of text here is what QuickBooks calls the bank text. So the little bit you see here is QuickBooks Online's interpretation of what this whole memo is. And you may well ask, what is this whole bank text here? That comes from the memo field in your bank account. Now I can show you, all, I'm already logged into my Chase business account, the one that I'm using for this example, 3565. And if I scroll down to the July 31st ATM for $2.50, I can see that the what Chase Bank calls the description is really the full memo field, non-Chase ATM fee with the capital letters and that's July 31 for 250. This is the memo field with all of the text. So when I come back to QuickBooks Online and I go back to that July 31st, you know, the one for two dollars and fifty cents, that's this one over here, you can see the description only says ATM fee. But when I click on it, I get the full text here which is the bank text, non-Chase ATM fee for the $2.50 on July 31, which is what this says for the $2.51. So exactly what's in the bank memo is what's copied into what QuickBooks calls the bank text. And this description is just an abbreviation. The rules can change what's in the review list or enter the transaction automatically after it makes the change. And you can make that choice when you set up the rule and we'll do it both ways so you can see both results. For example, let's make a rule that every transaction that says ATM in the bank text, which is the large text field that comes from the memo in the bank, anyone that says ATM will automatically be categorized with the account owner's withdrawals. We can make it based on the bank text field, not the description field, as I mentioned a moment ago. And in this case, we will make the rule only for the account and not yet make a rule for the name of the customer or the vendor. So let's go here and let's make the rule. So we go to the top of the banking center and we click Bank Rules. And now on the top right, we click New Rule. Now when it comes to the name of the rule, I like to give the name of the rule as the same thing as the text that it's looking for. Because that helps remind me what the rule is. You don't have to do it that way. This choice has to be correct. Is this rule going to affect the deposits or the expenses and checks? In this case, this is a rule for every transaction where money is coming out of the bank account. And what's nice about QuickBooks Online is that you can make the rule only for the bank account you're working for or for 
every bank account that you connected. In this case, we'll leave it for just the business checking. Okay, well, you have to click the check mark. Okay, so business checking. Now, when the transaction meets all of these conditions, so again, we, we don't want to use description. That's not enough text. We want to use bank text because that's the entire amount of the bank memo field. And again, ATM. So we're telling QuickBooks, anytime you see these three letters together in this way, in the bank text, which is the bank's memo field, what do you want it to do? Well, the type of transaction would be expense, not check, because ATM is not a check. We leave the payee blank for this rule because we're allowed. And the category will be owners withdrawals. So basically, this rule says anytime the memo from the bank has these letters put together in this way, please automatically put this account with it so we don't have to go through it ourselves and put the account ourselves. It'll take too much time. We will not yet click the check mark to automatically add it to the books. We just want to see what happens to the review list when we make and save this rule. We click Save. Now let's go back to the review list and see what happened. Ha ha. Notice this says ATM and there's a green button here that says rule and it automatically suggested the owner's withdrawals account. This also has the word ATM and it automatically suggested the owner's withdrawals account. Same thing with these three, rule, ATM, owner's withdrawals. So we would save time. All you got to do is click add, 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 and you don't have to go bother going through it and putting the withdrawals account yourself because you know that's the proper account because it says ATM. Now, we could add it ourselves, but that would still take time. If we're really sure, we can go back and edit the rule to make it enter into QuickBooks automatically. That would really save us time. So. Let's go back to bank rules, and this is the only rule, so we can click the check mark here and edit this rule. And the only edit we're going to make is this check mark down here. Please enter it automatically. Now that you know which account it is, please enter it without requiring that we have to click Add next to each one. When I click Save, we get a message that six transactions have been added to the books. And when we come back to the review list, you can see that it's down to 23 from 29 because those other six are no longer on the review list. Where are they? They're in QuickBooks. And we can see that they're in QuickBooks by clicking in QuickBooks. And when we click in QuickBooks, look at that, ATM, ATM, ATM. They have already been recorded in QuickBooks. And you can check that they have already been recorded into QuickBooks by looking at the rest of your QuickBooks reports. You can make a rule for deposits the same way you make a rule for expenses and checks. For example, let's make a rule that every transaction that has in its description field, which is the little field that comes from QuickBooks Online, let's make that have the exact words quick pay. So any one of the little fields that has the word quick pay spelled this way should automatically have Alan Arby as the customer and video income as the account. Now remember, we're basing it on the description field and not the memo that came from the bank. So here we go. Notice in the review list, there are quite a number of Chase Quick Pay in this little field description. Again, we're not talking about this long text here. We're talking only about the little description that QuickBooks Online puts as an interpretation of the memo field. So we click Bank Rules. And again, click New Rule in the top right. And again, I like to make the rule the, name, the same as the text. Let's not make it all caps. Okay, Quick Pay. 
I like to make the name of the rule the same as the text, but this time, okay, it's not for money coming out, this time it's for money coming in. And let's leave it with all bank accounts, or you could select the specific bank accounts that you want to apply this rule to. Now this rule I'm purposely making a little different. Instead of the bank text, we'll make it based on the description, just to see that it works. You should also know there are other options for criteria. You could make it uh, an exact spelling of something, because you might have two rules that are very similar. Or you could make it a rule for anything that doesn't contain a specific text. You could even make it based on the amount. You could tell QuickBooks, let's have a rule that anything of this exact amount has this specific name and this specific account. But for now, let's leave it as description, and you can explore and experiment with the different options on your own time. But when the bank text contains exactly this text spelled this way, it means that it's a deposit because it's for money coming in, and it means the payee should be Alan Arby. We want QuickBooks to put that automatically, and we want the income account to be video income. Okay? We don't yet want it to automatically put it in QuickBooks. We want to see what it looks like on the review list. So again, for all money coming in, if, it has this, if the description contains this, and I suggest you explore and experiment with these options later, but if the description contains this, QuickBooks should put the name as Alan Arby and the account as video income. Now after we save this rule, we can come ba back to the bank uh, review list. Look at this. This said Chase QuickPay, it suggests the rule video income, and it suggests Alan Arby. This also had the word quick pay in the description. It suggests video income and it suggests Alan Arby and so on. So there are several of these. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So out of the 23 transactions that are in review, six of them we could go through one by one and click add. But it would be much faster if we went back to the bank rules clicked edit to edit that particular rule and simply told QuickBooks instead of just showing us on the review list automatically add it into QuickBooks as soon as we click save we're gonna get this message six transactions have been added to your books and when we come back to the bank feed center you can see now there are only 17 on the review list from 23 a minute ago because the other six have been added in QuickBooks. And we can confirm that they're in QuickBooks by clicking here. And now you can see all the ones that say QuickPay have been added as a deposit with Video Income and Alan Arby. And that's how you use bank rules in the Bank Feed Center of QuickBooks Online.